Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I'm still waiting for the parts on the Viper. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take the Dakota. We've got the new tires on there. If you guys haven't seen the last video, we put those on. Uh, we might get into a few things today, but I found a snug top tonneau cover for pretty cheap. So I'm gonna take a drive, go get it. Only thing is it's missing some of the brackets. It's missing, I guess, the ones that clip in the front and any of the ones that mount to the truck. Uh, the guy traded his truck in and he just has the lid. So. I don't know. We're going to go pick it up, I guess, see if it looks good. If not, we can always, you know, sell it or something like that. But let's go ahead, hop in the Dakota and let's go for a drive. Oh, she's always noisy against this wall. Every time. So we picked it up not the prettiest thing you guys but like I said can't go wrong for the price she's white and it would probably need some paint but that's how it looks sitting on there so it's not a bad profile I don't know if you guys have seen these ones before so this is a snug top brand but I got no keys and I don't have the he didn't have the hardware for it so he didn't have the little bracket so that's why we got just these two straps holding her down for for the way back but I'm um, not gonna leave it on here we're gonna wait till we you know either paint this or paint the whole truck with this and then uh, she should match and I gotta find some hardware too but in the meantime we've got a tonneau cover so next up I found another ram in the wild we're just waiting for Jason for a second we're actually at, uh, where Jason works at and he's got some parts we're gonna grab off him and take back but look at this one Nice clean third gen. He's got the LED headlights in there. Check it out. Pretty cool looking. What do you guys think of those third gens? They only made that uh, body style for, I believe, what was it? 06, 07, and 08. So it was like a three year front end change. But do you guys like those third gens or do you guys like the other third gen front end, like the 02, 03, 04, and 05? Which one's better? So Jason's here. He's got some parts. So we're gonna bring these back. If you guys have been following along on his build, uh, we had a couple bolts that were uh, not so pretty, so we got those. It's for the uh, rear leafs. Got some U-bolts and clamps and stuff since uh, the ones that were on there weren't too pretty. We got some sway bar end links for the front end and a same AEM wideband gauge that you guys see me using on pretty much everything. So we're going to get that in his truck so that it, uh, it starts showing us what it's doing and how it's running and all that stuff so we can get it dialed in. So we're just on our way back and GPS taking us this crazy back way through kind of like San Diego County. It's pretty cool through here, you guys. I can get used to living down this way. People seem to be a lot friendlier down here too for whatever reason, but pretty cool scenery through here. We'll give you guys some moderate acceleration from inside here. I don't know how the audio is going to be, but I hope you guys get a bit of a better idea of how she actually sounds. She's a little on the loud side, you guys. You ready? Nothing crazy, but... Pull oh, maybe like a third of the pedal up to 60 miles per hour. Just so you guys got an idea of the loudness, but she's a little on the loud side. And I kind of have a couple other things coming, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is like these vlog style videos kind of give me a chance to run some ideas by you guys. I have two electric cutouts coming uh, from a company that are just sending me the two electric cutouts. We have three different possible vehicles we can put them on. We can put them on this Dakota, which I think is probably be the best bet. Is the quiet enough? Quiet enough 
turning up the exhaust a little bit. We'll put the, the Hellcat mid mufflers and keep the resonators on so that it's a little more tame. And then we can put the electric cutouts on this and have, you know, kind of like a mild to wild setup. Or we put the electric cutouts on the Viper because I saw a really nice spot that will fit on the Viper. Or we put them on the SRT10 Ram. Could be one of all three. It's two and a half inch piping, so it'll fit on pretty much all three vehicles. But let me know where you guys would want to see them. I want to know what you guys say down in the comments. All right, guys, so it is the next day. And since I'm kind of doing a vlog style video, I've been working on the Viper and the methanol injection kit. And you guys probably haven't seen this video just yet, but uh, the pump that I got, uh, the used one, it's actually failed. I've tried a bunch of different things and it doesn't work. So took it apart, put it back together even. Tried putting my, like this uh, road tank up here to see if it would, you know, suck fluid or whatnot, but uh, it just looks like it must be tired. So I'm actually going to pick up an AEM methanol kit right now. Um, I'm gonna use some bits and pieces. The other reason why I wanna get a full kit and not just a pump too is just in case this tank isn't large enough, if we start, you know, going through this like crazy, it comes with a separate tank, which I do want to maybe mount in here at some point. Um, it would require the bumper to come off, but I think that'd be, you know, if we start burning through a lot of this fluid at once, then we can put that separate tank in here, hopefully is what I'm thinking, and then be able to fill it inside there. So anyways, let's jump in the truck, take the Dakota again, and go get this kit. So, a little moral of the story on some of this stuff. So, I'll give you guys a tally on the I guess methanol kit. So I picked up the row used methanol kit for about a hundred bucks. Um, but I didn't use most of the parts, right? So I didn't use the, the bottle or reservoir and I didn't use the controller out of it and I didn't use the, the pump now. So it looks like I'm barely using anything out of the row kit except for pretty much the two nozzles. So I could probably try to recoup my money on the, the row kit. Only problem is it doesn't have a pump now. So there's that aspect of, of it to it. And then the reason why I'm going to buy a complete new methanol kit is because, and I also had to buy the, I had to buy the actual controller for what I'm running because the controller came with the row kit was for um, a, a piggyback uh, ECU or computer that goes on the Viper, so it wouldn't have worked. So the battery died on the camera, but what I was trying to say is sometimes it doesn't always work out, but I had to buy an AEM standalone uh, controller for it originally, which is all I thought I really needed. I thought I wasn't going to use the tank out of the row kit, I would just use the pump. I would use the nozzles that are for the Viper, like a certain um, CC or, or uh, volume of spray. And I thought I would just use a controller, but it's kind of turning out that I maybe should have just bought an AEM kit and then backwards engineered it because it looked like I'm pretty much going to have a whole AEM kit, but I'll be able to recoup a bunch of money off of selling the parts that I'm not using, so it's always a different way to look at things, you guys, so in the end it'll work out, but I need that pump. back we've got the AM methanol injection kit so this is the full kit with the tank as you can see there just in case we need it so we've got everything guys let's go back did have to make one more stop just a home depot i had to get a t and i'm just gonna use this temporarily i'm gonna get a nicer one but this is temporary and then i also had to get these little compression sleeves i was missing it for these nozzles so i needed the little sleeves so that it seals on our tubing so we should have pretty much everything we need, and the lights just went off, so I guess it's time to go. Little Volkswagen's trying to run. Let's see it. I don't even know if this thing would win, honestly. Didn't sound very fast, but I know they can be fast. Go. See it. Step on it. He don't wanna. He don't want none of the smoke. So we're back in the garage. I got the AEM methanol kit, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that pump on here. But you guys will have to wait to see that video where I do the whole in-depth install 
on the Dodge Viper. But it's gonna wrap up today's video. I'm gonna get that done quickly and probably not completely because I wanna take this car uh, one last time before it's supercharged out tomorrow to a car show. So I'll probably vlog that as well for you guys. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.